In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Plague Diamond Crossbow. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So in today's video, guys, we will be checking out the Plague Diamond Crossbow. And I mean, I know a lot of you guys do like the Plague Diamond camo. Every time I make a Plague Diamond video, you guys really do seem to enjoy it. And I always do appreciate your support, by the way. And I'm sure as most of you guys do know, in order to get Plague Diamond on the crossbow, you do need to unlock Golden Viper for one melee weapon and one special weapon. So for melee, you can either be the combat knife, like as actually saw a sledgehammer, etc. It was special, it's either the grenade launcher or the crossbow, but in this case, you do want to unlock Golden Viper on the crossbow in order to get Plague Diamond for it. So, I mean, I am super excited to see how it looks in-game. You guys have already seen from the menu screen, it looks super pretty. So, it can only look even prettier in-game. And it seems like Call of Duty did give us this new Tracer Pack, Tracer Pack Rose Reactive that does actually include Pink Tracer Fire. So, of course, we do get this XO, XO Love Lost SMG that is reactive, as you guys can see, it is changing right there. And this does also have have pink tracer rounds and i mean this is gonna be one of the coolest looking reactive cameras i've seen like the fact that it just gets more and more colorful has more and more hearts just looks insane it seems like something they would release for valentine's day i'm not gonna lie but we all know valentine's day is long gone but this is still a very cool reactive camera i can never see a lot of people running around this thing the bundle also does come with this broken heart assault rifle which also does have pink tracer rounds the drop dead charm the heartbreaker vehicle skin the lonely valentine emblem which i don't think is loading in properly. <laughs> like, it's not even loading in right here in the bundle. And finally, the Loving Appetite sticker. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's check out the Plague Diamond Crossbow. So, of course, here is the Plague Diamond Crossbow in-game, guys. And I mean, you guys can already see, it just looks super duper pretty. I don't really like showing off the crossbow cameras in, like, the menu screen, because they just look super ugly. It's honestly just super dark. I kind of wish you could do what you did in Modern Warfare, where if you equip a camera and you weapon inspect it, it shows up. But when you weapon inspect the gun in the menu screen, in Cold War, it doesn't come up with the camera, which really does suck. I really hope Call of Duty does eventually end up fixing that. But one really cool thing I love about Plague Diamond on the crossbow is that everything's just purple. Like you guys can see, even the arrows are purple, and that's crazy. Like that's actually such a cool detail that I do love. I love how everything just turns into purple. Kind of wish with Golden Viper that I showed off in yesterday's video, the arrows were gold. Like that would have been insane. That definitely would have made Golden Viper way better. But the fact that Plague Diamond makes everything purple is really cool. And of course, it does have the diamonds along like the front there it just looks insane and i mean plate diamond on any gun just looks really cool so it definitely is worth getting it and speaking about diamond and everything i did actually unlock regular diamond and gold for the crossbow i did actually say in yesterday's video i was so close to getting it and i did decide to just end up and get it right away off camera so if you guys want to see videos on either the gold or diamond crossbow let me know down in the comment section below i mean i've used the diamond crossbow in game a little bit and that camera just looks insane and i definitely would love to make a video on it for you guys because it just looks super pretty. I honestly don't know which camera is prettier, regular diamond or plague diamond, because I know when Cold War first came out, I loved diamond right away, but ever since I started getting plague diamond and using it in-game, I've slowly fallen in love with plague diamond on any gun. So let me know down in the comment section below which camera is better, diamond or plague diamond. It is kind of funny how my first and only diamond camera is a combat knife and a crossbow, and to be honest, I totally forgot I unlocked diamond for the combat knife, so I would definitely love to make a video on that as well, because I'm sure diamond looks super pretty on the knife as well as the crossbow. So we have actually gotten a few leaks for Call of Duty 2021. We actually got these leaks quite a while ago, but I just forgot to cover them in videos for you guys. And these leaks were basically just people saying that apparently Call of Duty 2021 is going to be set in World War 2. And that's basically almost confirmed at this point because so many people are saying it. Even like the big Call of Duty news outlets, they're saying that as well. So I've got a feeling it probably is 100% confirmed that it's set in World War 2. And apparently it's called Call of Duty Vanguard. But at the same time, we don't know if that's the actual name of the game because it could just be a code name and a lot of people are saying that as well. But to be honest, I'm very excited to see what Call of Duty 2021 could be about, especially if it is set in World War 2. I mean, of course, we already have had Call of Duty World War 2 before, so this is supposed to be like set after or set in like another timeline or something. We don't know. Of course, these are just like leaks and rumors. Take everything with a pinch of salt. You don't know if it's true or not. But I actually really did enjoy World War 2 because they did end up releasing World War 2 for free for a PS Plus free game. I believe like quite a while ago. Go. And I know a lot of people didn't enjoy World War 2 when it first came out, but of course, for the updates and everything, a lot of people did end up enjoying it more and more. The only thing that sucks that all the DLC was hidden behind a paywall. But of course, with the changes that Call of Duty has made to the past Call of Duties, Modern Warfare, and Cold War right now, hopefully we shouldn't get any paywalls, and hopefully it should be a really good World War 2 game. So to be honest, I am excited to see what the game could be about. I mean, of course, we don't know if it is set in World War 2, but I feel like it's basically confirmed since, like I said before, all the big news outlets are covering it. 
And usually when we get these type of leaks and stuff, like last year with Cold War, we got these kind of leaks and rumors and ended up coming true. So I do have a feeling it's basically confirmed it's set in World War II. So I'm excited to see how it goes. And also on the Warzone side, if it is set in World War II, how will that work? Maybe there'll be some big nuke event, kind of like what we're expecting right now. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. It sounds very exciting. So we did, guys. That was the Plague Diamond Crossbow. And you guys saw it in game. It looks super pretty. Kind of want to go away from showing it off in the menu screen because you guys know I don't like how it looks in the menu screen. It's like super dark and everything. But in game, it looks super pretty. I love how everything is purple. Like even the arrows, which is crazy because usually the arrows just wouldn't change. But the fact that even the arrows are purple, I just love it so much. Plus, of course, it just has an insane amount of diamonds. In terms of actually getting it, it is sort of similar to just getting Golden Viper. Everything is super easy. You just need to get tier three pack a punch, equip dead wire, and everything will basically get done in just a matter of time. But in terms of getting it on a melee weapon, that is a little bit more difficult, but since they do have 5 base Z, getting elite eliminations is pretty easy. And then in no time, you should have played diamond, which just looks insane. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully, guys, did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, show support. I appreciate all of it. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn the bell notifications for some more Call of Duty content like this, because I play basically every single day. But again, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully, guys, did enjoy. That was the Plague Damned Crossbow. See you all next one.